G'day and welcome to our review and tutorial of Book Creator app. Now when you're in the app, you'll see that you can see their getting started tutorial, which is great, or we can explore creating a new book. I'm choosing to do a portrait book. And I'm ready to go. So I'm going to add some content in here by hitting plus. Then I'm going to choose, you can see I've got a few options I can put in. So let's start by putting a photo in. I move it around where I want. And now I want to add some more. This time I'm going to choose some text. And it's dropped it on the page how I want. I'll move this around where I want. And now I'm going to hit the little inspector. This allows us to change the size of our text. So I'll change it to a size that suits. And we're done with our cover. So now I want to add a second and third page on. So I'm going to hit the arrow here. And I'm presented with a blank page. Of this I want to add some content. Let's first add a photo and drops a pre-prepared photo I already had onto the page. You orient, orient this how you want. I really like here how when you put it across two pages you get this really nice flipping effect in iBooks. Let's add some text in. and move around where we want. Now I want to add a little bit more, so I'm going to hit plus. And this time I'm going to do pen or drawing. And you move it around wherever you want. So to round this out now, I'm going to hit plus. And we're going to go and add a sound. The options are here to start a recording or in Port something you've already got from your iTunes library. It drops the sound into the page and we move it to where we want. And we're done for this page. So we've added quite a few elements on here. So let's add another page by clicking this arrow. Let's add a little bit of text. You might notice while you're editing text, once you've highlighted stuff, that you can actually do a whole lot with it, including adding a link. Now work out your size and where you want this text. Now that you're done with your content, let's just have a look at a bit of fine tuning. When you hit pages here, this is where you can hold down and move pages around if you want or delete pages as well. So I'm not going to do anything here, so I'm just going to hit cancel. And I've got my finished book ready to go. Now I can share this at the moment by there. But I'm actually going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to go to My Books. And at this stage you'll see that this information is incorrect. So click the little inspector. Change the content as you want. And voila, you are ready to share. And you've got three great options here. Video, which is very neat. Okay, pulls all your audio and so on into one video file. Um, PDF will open on anyone's devices. And EPUB, which will open in a, an ebook reader. And that's what we're going to choose here. The options for sharing are seen here. We're going to choose Open In. And you can see this is pretty neat. You can cloud storage, learning management systems, or as we're going to do now, we're going to open in iBooks. This is showing you what your end uh, book will look like. All the flipping works nicely in these pages. This is just a static view of it. But when you click on the audio, it also plays really nicely as well. So that was Book Creator App. Um, great applications for learning. Um, I would certainly recommend it. Get amongst it. Enjoy.
Tilly, tilly.